Hello everybody and welcome back to Provost Gaming and more EU for the Three Mountains, playing as Ryukyu. Just took over a chunk of Canada. <sighs> uh, if I could just get some more people down over here, they would be fine. I'd like to encourage you all to stack on me if that's what you want to do. But yeah, go ahead and unsiege that stuff if you want. But Most important thing will be to take out, let's say, Tabriz. Get the capital of Persia down. And start working our way up to Shirvan. Try to get that down. We should still be able to win this war, but, I mean, Persia could turn around and cause some serious damage if they wanted to. I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and declare war on France now. Our troops are already in position. We can rush right on up to Paris. Like, barely any effort at all. Um, alternatively, we could just attack Aragon right now. But to do that, uh, they would have a lot of extra allies join in that I don't want to fight. So, we want to attack somebody else, like, let's say, New Providence. There's Ryukyu in Louisiana. We have another colonial nation done and ready to go. Right over here. Uh, and their capital is where, exactly? Right here. Okay. Choctaw. Seems fine. We'll continue to uh, feed you a couple of extra colonies, if possible. Keep working up here on... Canada. It's only one, two, three, four provinces left, I think, in the entire game to colonize. That might be it, actually. It might be just the four. These are all wastelands, and all the other islands have already been taken. I'm pretty sure it is, actually. Well, okay, I take that back. There's a lot in Africa that we could colonize instead, and we probably should. I mean, the alternative is to use my colonists to develop a uh, province like the capital or something, which I think you can do. You don't have a general giving you any siege value, and I kind of feel like we need it because we're struggling here. So why don't you pop up over here? We'll grab a general and then send you back. French separatists. That's fine. Colonial border conflict. I just, I don't... Which province is it? No, it's not any province they're fighting over. I'll let them sort it out. I don't care. Okay, take um this guy. Go here. Okay. What was I going to say? I was about to do something. And I just totally forgot what it was. Crap. I do not remember. Out of the two targets, I really want to fight Aragon more than anyone else. A lot of aggressive expansion out here, by the way. Most of Europe doesn't seem to care, but France sure as heck does. We're about to make Aragon care a lot. But if we stagger our truce timers, what are they going to do? Also, it's a good opportunity to force them to give up the rest of um, Colombia so I can move around a little bit more freely. Just a little bit. Man, Mexico, you are just such a disappointment to me. Usually you're a pretty strong um, colonial nation, but not anymore. I have another merchant I should probably use. Could collect some money before it heads off to Seville. We got 5% control here, unfortunately. We are collecting a good chunk of money here in Bordeaux before it leaves. I could try snagging a little bit away from the Ottomans if I go to the Alexandria, but we don't have very good control there either. Where is money, like, feeding through that I'm not capturing? There's a surprising amount of money coming out here. Going into Persia, of which I only have 15% control. 86% control here, but it looks like it's only going to capture about 7. So a lot is actually generated right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, collect from trade here. With the knowledge that once I am done with Persia, hopefully I will be able to get a lot more trade power in this area. Send you over there. Let's make sure we get that extra siege progress. There we go. Okay. New Providence. There's Ryukyu in Brazil. Another colonial nation for me. Okay. So we'll be able to use them. I'm going to go ahead and send them some subsidies. Let them build up an army. One thing we could do, since we have a lot of money, and it would really screw with the, uh, the AI, is deliberately build some forts to slow them down a lot. And if I build them in the right kind of terrain here in the New World, I mean, that 
actually would really mess them up. Let's see. I want to kill these Britain, uh, Breton Canadian separatists. Like, let's suppose we did that. Like, even, even just a level 6 fort, which, yeah, it costs me a bit of money. But suppose that I did this and built one, like, right over here. You know? And then upgraded this. Can't. But built one, like, right here. Nope. In these sort of areas. Built one bordering up here against, um... New Castile and slow them down so they can't really go anywhere. Exercise zone of control here. Only thing we're missing is the zone of control right here. And so that's the thing. We could actually, instead of building level uh, six forts, we could just be building level two. This would give me the ability just to exercise some zones of control. Trap them. Don't let them go anywhere. Kind of okay with doing some of that, actually. Just in a few strategic locations. Okay. Uh, and then we want to build some up here, I think. Protecting against Brazil. They should only come up this way. So actually, this is a good example where a higher level fort might make sense. Since I have the money and I won't be paying for the maintenance... And then we've already managed to get all of this, so I guess we want to have a couple of good level forts over here. And this will completely trap Castilla and Peru from going anywhere that I don't want. You know what I mean? I think that's a reasonable thing to do. Oh, right. We have some uh, rebels over here we wanted to kill. Let's fix that. Also could justify building some forts that I do maintain... Actually, I can build one right here, and that will exercise a really good zone of control, and I don't have to maintain that one at all. Sure. Rene would be a really good place for a fort. Good zone of control to be had here. We can just kill these guys real quick. But you generally would like to build it in terrain where you can get a defensive um, bonus by attacking at the fort. Unfortunately, Brittany is nice, luscious farmland. So that's not going to be an option. Do you want to go ahead and just promote some more cultures? We can afford to do another one. Sure. Uh, we could lose some legitimacy and do stuff. Am I saving the military power for anything in particular? I don't think so. Native assimilation, that helps. Anything I can do with my estates. Just make you guys loyal. New World Charter. Recruit a minister, give them some influence. They're still somewhat disloyal. I could probably give them some land somewhere. Like this. It increases their loyalty a little bit, but not enough. Forgot that we got some Korean troops, and I do not need these forts. These forts do not help me at all. Alright, something I wanted to do... ...was just uh, go and kill these um, rebels. And turn eight before they become a problem, technically. Anything I'm missing over here? No, I think we're more or less okay. Anything I'm missing over here? No, I think we're okay. Um, Alright, so it really does come down to Persia. So, yeah, do we just go ahead and attack France? Or do I say, screw it, let's go for Aragon? If I wanted to attack Aragon directly, which is what I, would be ideal, we can't because we have a truce. But, if I were to attack, let's say, New Providence right here, you would defend, which means I get to have my way with you and also... Yeah, make you concede some stuff. Okay. Imperialism! We'll do that. Uh, you guys already exist as a navy, so let's just go pick up some troops and quickly go grab New Providence. Oh, hello, found Aragon's navy. 
These guys have a single fort right here. Let me go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure here to Aragon. Okay, say goodbye to your navy. Including a heavy. And then, yes, we just go ahead and, uh, well, sneak attack. Sucker. Don't think you were ready for this. So let's see, you're going to that fort, you're going to go to this fort, you're going to go to this fort, you're going to that fort, you guys go up over here and defend. You go to that fort, I'm going to need a new general. Uh, once these guys are done, we'll pull them down here to the south. I don't really want France to take anything from Aragon, but... Might be preferable. I mean, we're going to be in this war for a little bit longer here against Persia, right? So I figure we might as well go ahead and start our next one. Especially since it is a good attack of opportunity right now. Uh, sure, 18,000 uh, troops just sitting here waiting to die. I'm okay with that. We'll also be able to greatly control his movement by grabbing some of these forts and just taking over the Iberian section of Aragon. He'll have a lot of troops in... Um, Italy, no doubt, but that should be a stack wipe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please assist. Found his troops. Okay, we're fighting him in the uh, mountains, which is, uh, no, the hills, sorry, which is not great. At least we rolled pretty well. Uh, we're actually doing shockingly well. What's your stats? You have terrible discipline and terrible morale and not good tactics. Yeah, that puts us in a pretty nice spot. Okay, so you take a lot of losses. Back you guys up. You're going to go to this fort instead. Bohemia and France are fighting each other. Right, Bohemia got called in by Aragon. See, this is the cool thing, is now we're fighting Aragon, and I don't have to worry about Bohemia. Maybe I can break off their relationship with Bohemia. I see that as being ideal. I don't know where he's going to retreat to. Morocco's going to do some stuff down here. He might already be retreating his army here to Valencia, which means we might be able to catch him with low morale and just kind of ping-pong him back and forth and get some kills. A general just left us. Well, that's bad timing. Oh, God! Wasn't paying attention. First march, get up here. Uh, never mind. I think we lose that one. Scratch that. You... Retreat. Didn't notice another 50 stack. I mean, we knew he had troops sitting around, so I shouldn't be surprised, but yeah. Okay, so you guys should be able to kill him pretty quickly. Let's go to New Providence. We'll grab that. Are there any other rebels we have to worry about? It doesn't look like it. Uh, it looks like Newfoundland got most of the land from Canada. Canada is otherwise fairly weak and still defending against a Brittany. There's no very easy way for me to get to them to eat them, so I'm going to say that they're a low priority. Not worry about it. So I don't like that we weren't able to stack wipe that army. Because now we have whoop, a big stack of troops sitting around. So I need another general, like, now. Three, five, two, three, 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 one. Four, 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 five, two, two will do just fine. Thank you, Yemen. Put this guy in charge. Uh, and we are going to get rid of one unit, leave them behind, and let's make sure we have overwhelming numbers to try and win this fight. The Akko Vendetta. I definitely do not want to lose two stability, so we are going to lose, uh, just gain 50 admin power and have some national unrest issues. That's always unfortunate, but no. Two stability is terrible. Let's go to Avignon. Okay, we won the Siege of Yazd. Good. Get up here to Tabritz. 
Let's siege down the capital of Persia. I don't know where his armies went. Actually. I have no idea where his armies went, actually. Well, that's concerning. I did want to unsiege this. Kind of forgot about it. Still several years ahead of time on tech, so we're not going to worry about any of that. Okay. So, some of his armies are... Half of his army is split in Iberia, and half of it is split in Italy. The Ottomans are beating the snot out of Milan. Got that fort. Good. The capital of Aragon is Valencia, so we're already working on that. Let's uh, siege down whatever we can while we're still within this zone of control and trapped there. But we should be fine. Uh, Morocco, what happened to you? I thought you were fighting down here. Persia is sieging down Greece. Yes, priorities... Number one, absolutely. Kill Greece. Orissa is a good try, but Persia's decided to come and kill you. More separatists. Because Mexico can't handle anything. Okay. What am I going to be done coring all this nonsense? What is this? Where do I have rebels? Where are the hostile sieges? Bashkiria? Right, this is the one that we are actively sieging down right now. So we're about to fix this problem, so that's not going to happen. Okay. Yeah, um... <clears throat> I really overestimated how useful... Oh, God, this is going to suck. Anyway, what was I saying? Right, I really overestimated how useful I thought uh, the Vassal Swarm was going to be against Persia. Turns out they are worthless. I guess part of the problem is there's no good land border through Delhi. Can you go kill these guys real quick, please? Thank you. All the more reason that we need to fight like France and break off our relationship with Delhi and take some stuff. All the more reason. So, we are here in New Providence. Let's land in this pirate republic and teach them who's boss. No pirates. You've decided to send all your troops down here into Morocco. That is a terrible decision. Because it means you are not defending your forts in Iberia, including your capital. And I know where all your troops are in Italy, so there goes that fort. Let's see, that one's already being sieged down by somebody, probably France. Okay, I'm not really sure what to do with you guys at the moment, so let's just sit tight. Uh, you guys can try getting over here. Let's just have some reinforcements in case he comes back. The Ottomans, once again, are committing a lot to Milan. Now, it is unfortunate that I won't be able to get these forts off of, um, Aragon. Switzerland is sieging this down. Interesting. Well... Once that's done, I suppose the floodgates will be open, and we will be able to, um... I don't know why I just continued influencing it Ethiopia. That was unnecessary. Once the floodgates are open, we can start charging through, uh, Italy. I wonder if I could vassalize the Pope and make him into a daimyo. Somehow I feel like that should not be possible. But I would find it highly entertaining if I could. Alright, let's get that ticking war score going here against New Providence. I see that navy, Aragon. I know you got no troops on it. Gosh dang this stupid fort, though. It is taking a good long while, isn't it? 
Okay, there's another fort. Which means you can now split and have some fun. Give them some of that delicious war exhaustion. I mean, I'll let them gladly continue fighting against um, France. Like, go ahead. Weaken France. It's just going to make it that much easier for me to deal with them in the future. So I, I highly recommend it, in fact. Go for it. The sooner I can piece them out, probably the better. We can go ahead and start applying pressure to those forts, and we shall. Keep some armies nearby. I know exactly how many troops he has in that various uh, rough vicinity. That's what I meant to say. So I feel fairly confident about my ability to defend in northern Italy. Gosh, this stupid fort. I hate level 9 forts, man. And this is where the extra siege ability from offensive ideas becomes very important. I will have to figure out what I want next. Like, the morale of defensive is nice. The discipline and siege ability from offensive would be nice. Diplomatic for the war score cost reduction would be nice. I may end up going for just two more um, military idea groups, though. Okay, that's done. Why don't you get over here and go kill them? Okay. So that's a colonial nation that's going to get murdered. We are sieging down the capital of New Providence. Still working on these two forts, but we are very close to the capital of Aragon. Okay, good job. Actually, let's keep you guys together and we're going to go guard the strait. You guys can do the carpet sieging. What's this? Bohemia is about to fight... Switzerland and France? That's an interesting choice. It looks like a bad fight to me. I guess you do get the defensive bonus. Hello, Ottomans. Yeah, I see you're just stacking 168,000 troops on things again. Have fun with that. Must be nice. Oh, there's your troops. They have snuck by and are sitting around Milan. Whoop, 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 whoop. We are stuck in a fight. We need to assist. Got locked into this fight, and he walked in my path. Go ahead and start working on Arezzo. Alright, so we have a uh, river crossing penalty, but with some reinforcements, I think we'll be fine. Rolling a 0 against a 7 sure as heck doesn't help, though. But there's a full front line against you, and he's retreating. Good call. You go to Parma. There's the Siege of Valencia. Selective breeding in England. Price of livestock goes up. Cool. Uh, we probably should go ahead and cross here now that we have two armies available. Before he blocks things off and we'll try to get those forts. You, please chase him down and kill. How are we doing over here? Persia is still being sieged. Low war enthusiasm here, but I don't have the gosh dang fort, so I still don't feel like I can win this war until this is done. Gosh dang it. Oh, come the heck on! I hate, hate level 9 forts so much. I'm just complaining, and I know it. But I think I'm somewhat justified. Somewhat. Let's finish the occupation of Iberian Aragon France is going to get absolutely nothing here. Though if you'll wait for a little bit, I'll happily help. Or allow you to help. You go there, you move here. More Separatists, because why not? Okay, now there actually are some ships that are blocking me from going anywhere. But I think Morocco might deal with them. Or France will, apparently. There's the Siege of the Bahamas. Let's go ahead and dock up. Take you. Back out of here. To, I don't know, here I guess. Okay. 
Still please chasing down Aragon. He's just going to run away as far as he can because he's a little coward. Morocco has actually managed to get some troops together again. Cannot believe we are still fighting this stupid war. This stupid, stupid fort. Is this a level 9 fort as well? No. Shervin is easy. Tabritz is easy. This guy... This freaking guy... Had to be a problem. Tell you what. Take the cannons. Go and assist. Blow it open! By God! Help me! Get it! Ugh. 21% chance. Darn it. Getting close, though. Persia has apparently decided to go up to Russia and Finland. <laughs> as bad as the Vassal Swarm has been for me thus far, I will admit to a certain level of pleasure in how stupid the AI is and very confused when it comes to um, how best to siege me down and fight back, they'll go to the other ends of the earth. And except for the Ottomans. The Ottomans won't go to the other ends of the earth. They decide to be annoying. Highly annoying, in fact. Okay, let's go kill the Choctaw Separatists. Um... I am just gonna go ahead and do some more development, I guess. We're getting very close to capped out on all our manpower, though, and we're still several years ahead of time on tech. So, we are doing extremely well on the manpower... Uh, sorry, not the manpower. The Monarch Point Front. Which is excellent. No one will complain about that. The Miracle of Life. A baby. Lose war exhaustion. Nice. I take. Who says that babies are bad? I do. Sometimes. Occasionally. Not always a fan. Uh, Aragon has a navy just sitting over here for some reason. There's a navy over here. I'm just looking at the red dots on the map and trying to make sure I'm not missing anything important. I don't really feel inclined to help you against your rebels. We actually are finally on top of rebels in Mexico? Oh my gosh. Say it ain't so. Well, I say that. And then we have a lot of rebels up here. Breton Canadian separatists. Lots of them. I guess we're going to have to deal with them. Portugal declares war on Canon Bornu. No surprise. You guys get up here as well. I'm pretty sure someone else will unsiege that for me. So, if Persia is actually just going to keep their army somewhere else and not do anything, then maybe we just go ahead and get some progress going against um, Tabritz. 49% chance here. I say we should do that, and then I see he's training up new troops, and I'm wondering if this is a bad idea. And a load of more Separatists. 48,000 here, actually. Okay. Well, I still can't pull these guys back, because I never know where Aragon is going to pop up. Yeah, never mind. Maybe we do not want to jump on this. I will kill, get some free little kills over here, I guess, but... He's training up some more troops, and I don't have much sitting here at the moment. 64% chance now, because why would I get a 50-50 chance? It's highly implausible that a 50-50 chance is actually going to be a 50-50 chance. That's just ridiculous. Your surprise that it turns out... You, what, what's this? Creek Separatists. It, you, you're surprised that it turns out a 50% chance is actually only 10%? This is freaking EU4 we're talking about. Ottomans, where are you going? What are you doing in France? I do not know. Um, I could really use a general here. Oh, right, we can cross. We probably should. I'll send you guys up here to help. Okay. I feel like these wars are just taking forever lately. Freaking level 9 forts. Ugh. Oh my god! I'm telling you, it doesn't matter to me. It does not matter to me if it says that it's a 64% chance. Anecdotally, it's never a 64% chance. 
Let's go ahead and sack some prestige. Uh, let's say on um, you. I don't really care. I just want people to like me a little bit more. Oh, good. Now we have Persian peasants that we have to contend with. Please. Finally. My god. Go to Tapritz and get the capital of Persia. I need to be done with them. I mean, they'd love to be out of here. And I'd love to just take this so I actually have a freaking pathway to get around. 47% war score. I mean, if I just go for your capital, we can get so much more. Also, we can release people like Ardalan, Luristan. It's actually a lot up here. Ardabil. Yeah, okay. Oh, man! Okay, need to be ending up this video because we're once again out of time because it feels like I never have enough time anymore, but... We finally got that fort, which means now I can take out Persia. I'm going to take these guys and Shervin as new daimyos that we'll be able to feed. I'm going to create some new people down here in Persia. I'm going to get the freaking land bridges so that people can actually get around again. And for Aragon, I mean, we've already gotten to a point where I can take almost anything I want from them. So we're just going to sit back and enjoy getting free forts. They're weak, they're distracted, and then as soon as that's done, I think we just go ahead and turn our attention over to France and say, Hey, you think I forgot about you? You was wrong. I ain't forgot about you, France. I'm gonna eat you. I love you. Mwah. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.